Uh, let's talk about the uh, Turkish and Israeli relations. And uh, what's your opinion regarding Turkish and Israeli relations? Uh, as you know, there have been uh, some recent meetings and discussion between uh, Turkish and Israeli delegations uh, to improve these relations, to build friendship and brotherhood between uh, the two countries. And what can be done to this end, uh, in your opinion? And uh, you know, uh, as our uh, we Turkish people loves uh, Israeli people, and uh, we believe that the Israeli people loves uh, Turkish people. And what can be done uh, to do this and to improve our relations, our brotherhood, uh, our friendship, inshallah? Dr. Malu, before you start, uh, can you turn on your light, please? I'm sorry? Uh, can you turn on your light? There is some darkness there. Or more light? Uh, really, I haven't changed anything uh, in my own. Uh, maybe it's just getting dark here, which is uh, an indication of what I have. Is, you know what? Let me try to. Can I just um, excuse myself for one moment and get another uh, light on in the area? That would uh, be great, yeah. One, one second. It's hard to see your face. <laughs> Thank you. Is this um, is this better? Is this improved? <laughs> no, not I, not much, but better. Oh, that's sorry. okay. I mean, yeah. we're, we come to the end. That's okay. <laughs> There's no yeah, right. Okay. I've, right. I've um, done the best I can. So, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Night, night is falling over Jerusalem, and uh, best wishes from, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> the city of peace. Mashallah. But uh, Mashallah. in terms of your question about Israeli-Turkish relations, I had yeah. the opportunity to be in uh, Istanbul for the first time in. Um, uh, the, the uh, summer of um, 2011 for a um, um, uh, conference and conflict resolution and um, friends and colleagues who I told I was going to Istanbul were a little bit apprehensive given the tensions that have occurred and of course uh, Turkey has been one of the most um, uh, attractive tour spots for Israelis for many many years and um, the reception that I found, I mean, uh, I wear my kippah in, in the hotels and then later in the conference, etc., etc. Uh, when I first met the, um, again, I'm talking about more of more the, the people to people level, uh, which is uh, maybe what I'm better able to, um, to relate to uh, academics, people to people, uh, the high diplomacy, that's uh, also certainly a very important component in finding uh, ways of dealing with some of the issues that uh, uh, both sides have had uh, difficulty with. But um, uh, I felt that there was, uh, yes, a little bit of sort of correctness. I remember in the hotel, uh, well, uh, I needed some help in terms of uh, taking care of the kosher food that I had brought, and I uh, um, uh, certainly had cooperation in that way. And then I remember after I gotten to know some of the hotel people, um, I had come on Friday just before Shabbat, a Sunday morning, uh, one of the ladies behind the, um, behind the, um, you know, reception desk said to me, um, she's gotten to know me a bit, uh, Dr. Malov, Shalom, Boker Tov, uh, Shalom, uh, good morning. And I said, oh, you know some Hebrew. And she said, uh, yeah, well, we had Israelis uh, so much of the time. And I said, yes, I know. I hope that uh, conditions will facilitate uh, that. So I think that uh, also we deal with the issue of, of, of uh, image. It's very good that I think that there's uh, still a reservoir of goodwill on both sides. Um, and that hopefully that this um, um, sort of change in um, uh, political um, uh, atmosphere will be temporary and um, uh, that we'll go back to, um, to strengthening these links. Uh, I did feel that it was interesting uh, uh, sitting at a hotel um, overlooking some of the magnific magnificent views from uh, Istanbul. I remember the Ottoman Empire and I began my life as, uh, in Israel actually in um, a special, one of our holy cities in Israel by the name of Tzfat, uh, Safed, uh, a city known for its connection to mysticism. And there were remnants of the Ottoman Empire which ruled the area and all of a sudden in Istanbul I found, I thought myself thinking about this uh, mystical town. So yes, we have a great deal to enrich each other. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity also to um, arrange an international conference with uh, uh, two academics from Malaysia and um, one fine um, academic colleague from Turkey. Um, and um, again, uh, I think that there is a reservoir of goodwill on all sides. Um, if the politicians, uh, um, as part of one element, can find um, some common ground in, in, in helping to navigate out of these um, 
again, uh, the difficulties in the atmosphere and hopefully tap into these uh, goodwill and understand that Turkey is safe for, um, um, for, uh, for Jews, Israelis, and um, uh, hopefully that that uh, perception will develop, uh, and certainly the uh, Turks coming to Israel. Um, I believe that um, nothing in the world has to be constant and that this period can simply be a temporary um, um, you know, slight downturn and we can come back to um, uh, things in a positive way. Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and right. there, there will be a big union of love, actually. We don't have no problems with, uh, hmm. with the, our Jewish brothers and sisters and like in the, in the history, as you mentioned before, and so we will come together, we will live in peace with progression of, with progress of science, technology, and arts. And there will be no, blood, uh, no, no bloodshed and no wars anymore because everybody suffered from that in the 20th century. There was so much violence, wars, terrorism, and, and the bloodshed. And every, every side suffers from that, definitely. And now it is a time for peace, for democracy, for laicism, for freedom of thought and worship for everybody and with good relations, and this will definitely yeah. happen. Yes. We came to the end of our beautiful conversation. Can we have your last message for Turkish public and uh, Islamic world? Well, again, um, it's a uh, privilege to be able to have this outlet and um, share some thoughts with uh, the larger, uh, with the Turkish um, the people and the uh, larger Islamic Arab world. Um, I think that we all have to find um, a way out of uh, being uh, swept away by extremism, by um, one-dimensional perception, um, coming back and realizing that we have a tremendous amount to contribute to each other, and um, finding the best in our traditions uh, despite this period of uncertainty and difficulty, and uh, wishing you shalom, salam from Jerusalem. Alaikum Shalom. Alaikum Shalom. Alaikum Shalom. Shalom and Salam. That's what I meant to say. Mashallah. It is a great pleasure and honor to have uh, to have you, and we invite you to Istanbul. Actually, Inshallah. we would like to see you here in our studios and as our guest. Yes. Oh, yes. thank you. I'd love to come back. Okay. Inshallah. Imit Hashem. Yeah, Inshallah. Okay. Bezrat Hashem and Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you, Malo. Thank you very much for your joining us, and it's an honor. Please. To, uh, for us to have you here and uh, also Jerry thank you very much for your valuable comment and thanks my friend Okta and Gökalp here uh, so we come to the end of our show today uh, we had a very great interview with you Dr. Malo, uh, Malo uh, and uh, on behalf of here in Istanbul we would like to say good night thank you so much okay. thank you Shalom. 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 Shalom.